Hey, this is Jeff. This is episode seven. Show us your Humvee. Hi, I'm Mike Pappas with Gear Report. I mean, I'm not Gear Report, but I'm with Gear Report. <laughs> show us your Humvee. Let's see him. In Show Us Your Humvee, we feed your Humvee fix with Humvees from around the world. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our weekly episodes. The purpose of this series is to give you a deeper look into cool Humvees than you would get from a few pictures on social media. To be featured in Show Us Your Humvee, we need at least the year and model of your Humvee, where your Humvee lives, and some background on what makes it cool, like if you know any of your Humvee's history, upgrades you've made, how you use it in a unique way, etc. Send that info to show us your Humvee at gearreport.com and I'll put it in a future episode of Show Us Your Humvee. We'll start episode seven with a beautiful green beast from down east in coastal North Carolina. I'd seen a few pictures of David's GMV build in a few of the online forums, so when the truck pulled in beside the Gear Report campsite at the Denton Military Vehicle Show, I had a pretty good idea whose truck was sitting on the trailer. Having seen some pictures online had not really prepared me for how clean and pristine this Humvee is. It really looked like it could be brand new. David's attention to detail on this build was impressive, to say the least. Let's check out some of the interesting things David did to his Humvee. You might notice the signature GMV front and rear bumpers. David didn't send his firstborn to my friends at Military Systems Group. He made these and most of the other bolt-on parts in his shop. Don't trust me? Here you can see what his rear bumper assembly looks like without paint. I think he said he bought at least one of the half doors and made the rest. Other differences from what we normally see on Humvee builds include smoke generators, a flat chicken shield, satellite antenna, five attachment points for swing arms, or other machine gun mounts, and that is in addition to the main turret on top. Special Forces type side rails on either side of the pickup bed with troop handles and swing arm mounts at the aft ends. Rock sliders with removable full rocker length platforms. Mastercraft seats, including the cool rear seats that fold up to allow access to the storage compartment below. Ammo can holders, fording exhaust and intake, turbo doghouse, spare tire carrier with swing arm mount, LED lights all the way around, Pioneer toolkit on the hood, 24 bolt paired bolt wheels, hard top with grab rails, a toolbox, mud flaps, ballistic front windshield that can be popped out for egress, an MK93 machine gun mount which was conspicuously missing any sort of machine gun. He even picked up a cool Turbo Doghouse center console at the show. Yeah, I feel pretty certain that I missed something on that list. Hands down, this is one of the nicest builds I've ever seen of any vehicle type. I can't wait to see what David does with the two Special Forces GMV trucks he picked up recently. I don't think I'd seen one in civilian hands with that kind of mount in the back of the bed. Uh huh. And you see the back of each rail has got another little pin mount on top. And look behind at the front of each door hinge area. There's another post. So there could be not one there. One here. So one, two, three, four, five, six plus on top. Would that be like two forties or like? Uh, Depends on his budget. They equipped with like military style, would it be the, some kind of squad automatic weapon? Yeah, probably. And then the full kit on the front. Yeah, that's that really looks pretty cool. cool. Ruben does that on a lot of his. Uh, yeah. You got the short stack on it. Yeah, did you see that one? Oh, nice. Really nice. I bet 
that convoy rolling through Denton and turned some heads yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I wish I was here for that. Hey, he thinks he's going to run out of gas and water. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at right that. now. You got, you got better. I've taken over you gear report. <laughs> it's gonna be like this from now on. <laughs> you will show me your Humvee. <laughs> Next, let's head west to parts unknown to check out another military configured Humvee. I can't reveal the owner of this particular truck. <laughs> Sorry, but I can tell you there was a pretty smooth ride and turned heads everywhere we went in it. You can see that in addition to being a pretty cool camo slant back Humvee with a full turret assembly, this beast has the full set of military radios, intercom system, and Blue Force tracker system installed. But wait, there's more. Those smoke generators on top are wired to the controls above the windshield wiper motor. There's a full complement of machine gun mounts and ammo can holders in the back, as well as a portable tripod mount. The 50 cal on top was described as a non-functional model, but it was the most realistic fake I've ever seen. This Humvee was popular everywhere we went. This local officer was giddy that he was allowed to climb up in the turret. While David's Humvee may be the cleanest build I've been in, I think this one may be the most authentic retired Humvee I've ever been in. That's it for episode seven of Show Us Your Humvee. Thanks to David and the mystery Humvee owner for letting us share cool pictures and video of their trucks. If you'd like your Humvee to be featured in Show Us Your Humvee, send a few pictures in landscape orientation or links where I can download some video of your Humvee out doing whatever you like to do with your Humvee. I'm gonna work through those uh, videos and pictures in the order that they come in. So, you know, the sooner you send it in, the sooner you will be featured. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the range.